in the Bengals locker room with Lyle Collins. Lyle, when you signed here back in March, mm -hmm. did you envision the offense looking like the way it has over the past five weeks where you guys have kind of gotten things rolling and uh, moved on to 9-4? Absolutely. You know, um, honestly, I would probably say, just like everybody else, I had high expectations, you know, out of the gate, thinking that we were going to be just coming out just, you know, <laughs> at the top of our game. Yeah. And, you know, it didn't play out that way. But I think it taught everybody, you know, something that, that, um, that we needed to be taught in order to really, um, you know, go out there and get the most out of everyone. And that's no matter how talented you are, if you're not all playing on the same page, if you're, you know, um, if you're not, you know, clicking on the right timing, then, you know, it's going to kind of set you back a little bit. But, you know, it really makes everybody own in on their craft and own in as playing as one. Joe, uh, about 15, 20 minutes ago, said that he thinks this offensive line has another level. Absolutely. Or, or not offensive line, this offense in general. Sorry, he was not sp specifically talking about the line. Absolutely. What level do you think that is, considering you guys are playing pretty well right now? I mean, that's just, you know, um, less less uh, mistakes, uh, less hurting ourselves, um, and not making the game close. <laughs> because, I mean, we really have that type of offense where we don't have to make any game close. You know, we come out and, and get after it and stay after it. You know, we don't have to make any game close. We have that type of offense. I mean, and we got a great defense that, that gives us, you know, gives us the ball, you know, creating turnovers. So, you know, that's huge. Joe Burrow's been getting some MVP buzz. There's been some MVP talk during this run. Do you think he should be in that conversation, given how he's playing? Absolutely, man. I mean, he's he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league. You know, to me, the best. You know, and um, you know, I love protecting him and blocking for him because I know you give him, you give him time, man. That guy can he can do some special things. What makes him special? What just in in has anything? Because you knew he was talented, obviously, right. when you signed here. And has anything surprised you about him now that you've gotten to know him a little bit in Boston? I form? think he's everything that I thought he was. You know, um, a winner, a competitor, mm -hmm. um, a tough guy, um, mentally and physically, um, and a selfless guy. You know, he's, he's super dialed in each and every week. Um, he makes the throws that, you know, a lot of quarterbacks can't make. And, you know, he, he sees the game at another level. And to be that young and to be where he is, I mean, I mean he's not even scratching the surface on how good he can really be. Offensive line-wise, how is your rapport now with these guys versus five, six weeks ago? Um, you know, it's great, man. Um, you know, it takes time for an offensive line to truly gel. Mm -hmm. It takes reps. It takes, you know, um, you know, going through some ups and downs. But the beauty out of that is you're able to learn a lot of things. And, and you know, I think the more consistent you play as an offensive line, as one unit, the more uh, the ball carriers trust you, you know, throughout the game. They know where you're going to be. They know what type of guy you are. I mean, we have guys that just play hard and play physical. And um, I think that that's our identity. Physically, a lot has been talked about, of course. And how do you feel at this stage of the season? I know everyone has their, their bumps and bruises, but you've been able to play through it. How yeah. do you feel right now? You know, I mean, I feel, I feel good. Man. I feel blessed, honestly, man. Just to even be at this point right now, I mean, my whole my goal is to, to play every game. And, um, you know, I just feel like that, to me, you know, reestablishes where I am as a, as a player and as an athlete because, I mean, honestly, every every guy in this locker room is playing through something. You know, it's, it's about what you can play through. And um, I know if I'm out there, I give my, my team the best chance to win. So, I mean, if I can walk, I'm going to play. Well, I appreciate the time. Good luck in Tampa. Thank you. Appreciate it.